welcome to Mr. Bacon Plants Plays Games. Today we're playing Star Realms, and the reason we're playing Star Realms is because this week there's going to be an update to Hero Realms. That's going to be a game-breaking update. So before I start my next journey in Pit Fight, uh, let's wait for the new update. So I figured, you know what, let's play some Star Realms and see what's going on there. And it does look like they made some updates to this game. And what I'm thinking is, let's check out the campaign for this game. And maybe it'll give us some insight on what they're going to do and what level of polish the campaign is going to have for Hero Realms. Because we already know that Hero Realms is this game cranked up to 11. So let's see the campaign cranked up to 10. And then we'll see what it's going to look like for 11. So let's just jump right into the campaign. Um, I kind of played this like a really long time ago. And actually, I you know I, I played the uh, Star Realms uh, really when it was in beta. And I kind of played through this campaign back when it was in beta. So like this, it looks way different now. So I think it's going to be pretty fun to kind of go through this again. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, chapter, whoop, chapter 1 level one i haven't even unlocked hard mode um and basically you know these are our achievements um, we're fighting some rebels and yeah standard star realms rules apply defeat your opponent to advanced okay and then there's a little story here so let's go ahead and watch this the mining planet aradel is being ravaged by civil war Aradel's ruling council has called for your kingdom's aid, promising valuable mining rights should you put down the resistance. High Admiral Molan volunteers for the mission. Your longtime mentor, Minister Sadius, has instead convinced your father, King Regalan, to give you your first fleet command for this mission. Reward his decision by destroying the rebel fleet and winning Aradel's loyalty to your father's kingdom. All right. Well, there's some, you know, more story than what's in Hero Realms right now. A little cutscene. I like that. All right. See how it plays. All right. And I, I turned the music off. Uh, the reason being is that sometimes music is copyrighted. And I don't want copyright lawyers. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So normal rules apply. The color, I, I kind of forget what colors are. I, I know that uh, just like in Hero Realms, red is the scrap color. Um, green uh, does have a lot of attack. And then, yeah, blue has a lot of authority, which is your life. Um, I think if you have the opportunity to buy a card that lets you scrap, you gotta scrap. I mean, that's just too powerful. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Let me check the volume there. Hopefully I didn't blow out your eardrums. Um, mm, it's probably good. I'm not going to touch the levels, so uh, turn your volumes where you need it to be. Uh, it's a little hot, but, you know, my voice is louder than that. So if my voice isn't blowing your eardrums out, I don't think that sound effect was either. All right, I'm on the floor of my elevator. This sounds like an elevator. Ding. All right, play off. Oh, kind of fell right into that. That red. So these are like your actions. Um... But they, yeah, they call them ships. Ships are kind of like your actions. Wait a minute, why? What? What? Oh, okay, I can drag it down. Got it. And then these are like your champions, which are bases. And then they just like this outpost that's a guard, you know, things like that. Very much like Hero Realms, but I would hardly suggest that you play this game because it is awesome. Um, I don't have a discard pile. <clears throat> Man, I keep trying to cough. Before I started recording, my coffee went down the wrong hole. And now I'm still coughing. All right. Um, 
definitely want to attack. Do I want to attack? Yes. Because I'm trying to win in seven turns. All right, and then let's go ahead and scrap. And we'll do that. Pretty standard hand here. I wish there was a turn turn counter. Cause I'm not sure like okay, turn nine. So I'm, I'm already gonna not get that one. That's pretty aggressive to try to win that quickly. That's that's kind of wild. Yeah, I think one of the achievements was like winning win by turn seven. All right, let's see here. I do have blue. I feel like the colors, I, I think some of the colors, I feel like they do kind of match up. Like blue has that ability where you can acquire directly to your hand, just like blue in here realms. All right, what are we gonna do here? Um, yeah, we'll scrap the scout. This is gonna be pretty quick. Um, but not quick enough, honestly. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get some green in there. And then... Hopefully one more... Oh, I was going to say, hopefully one more turn, but... Just not going to do it. Let's scrap that. The Viper. Let's do the base. Not that it's going to matter. All right, here we go. Oh, they have an outpost, though. Okay, well. Um, all right, let's try that again. All right, so, yeah, win before your eighth turn. Oh, wait, that's, that's boss. It keeps wanting me to do the boss. Like, win before your seventh turn. Let's try that again. I just don't know how that's going to happen. Should I do green? Like, I just thought, I think like, that's so, that's so tough. Um, hmm. It's like I could go green, but I don't, I don't know. I think I'm going to do Explorer Trade Bot. And I guess we'll go missile bot. Right, what turn is it now? Okay, so when it's my turn is okay, so now it's my turn five. I gotta win in two more turns. Like how how does that work? Oh yeah, once we play missile bot, because I gotta gotta blow stuff up. I just feel like it's so, like, kind of luck dependent. I mean, like, it's strategy, but, like, you know, you get a in a row. I mean, what are you going to do? Um, definitely this one. Whoa, but, mm. I think this one. Copy another ship you've played this turn. But I mean, this is it. I mean, I would have to get up to 18. I mean, maybe it's possible. I don't know. All right, I'm going to copy trade bot. Not that that's going to matter.
Alright, I'm gonna go that route. Alright, so this is turn 11. But like, yeah, I don't know. That's tough. That is tough. All right, I guess I'm gonna go that. All right, so I'm up to twenty. But see, like, and we're gonna scrap battle cruiser. And then I'm up to seven. Okay, so I, I'm gonna hang in there, I believe. Oh yeah, I gotta play this first. All right, well. I don't, I don't understand. I thought it said turn 11 and why does it say win before ninth turn and I get a little goldie? You know, I don't understand that. But anyway, I'm not going to try to get all of these because that would be a little bit insane. Um, that was a kind of a quick video. Uh, I think I'll do one more uh, mission in this uh in this chapter and then we'll we'll call it quits for today um so this one looks like it's gonna be a little bit harder we start at equal health um win with 15 or more authority remaining i feel like that's a little bit more something that i could try to control whereas the other one it's like uh okay hopefully i get a good hand of cards in the center row to, to make that happen but this one i feel like i can control let's do the story and then we'll do the game and then uh let me know if you want me to continue this this uh, this playthrough of the campaign for Star Realms, and make sure you like and subscribe. The true sponsor of the Rebel Fleet is revealed. The notorious warlord Traxus. Furious to hear of how our royal whelp triumphed over his forces, Traxus has arrived to destroy you himself. Use your wits to repel Traxus' fleet. And claim victory. I feel like the story is just tacked on. I think Hero Realms, they potentially have... I feel like the... the, the I don't know, this is just the first chapter. So, you know what? I'm going to hold my judgment until I get deeper into this. You know, I, I think I'm going to go green. Just because, look how perfect that is. I can get boom, boom. Yeah, let's do the boom, boom. You got to do boom, boom when you get boom, boom. Let's do it. Oh. All right, so this one is target opponent discards a card. I feel like this is the green faction in Hero Realms. Or is, is it green? Anyway, these effects, these are, these are pretty normal. All right, um... Um, I think, yeah, because I, I can trash it. Yeah, I think that's good. It's not like a... Welcome to your floor. It just sounds so much like an elevator. All right, so here we go. Um, let's scrappity scrap scrap. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that brain world. Let's draw a card. Play all. Um, yeah, I also kind of like I, I those effects to really make it like like you never have a dead turn in Hero Realms, but like this, it's like. This is it. This is all I got. Just playing cards. It is like the simpler game, maybe. I kind of want to draw a card. So let's go ahead and discard that. That was totally worth it. Not. All right. 
boom big 14 damage big screen shake that's when you know you're doing something right with the old attack yeah, shuffle that deck let's do it okay we're gonna go ahead and play all um i don't really want to splash in blue Go ahead and play all. We'll trash these explorers. Um, okay, scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. That does feel good. I know I'm playing green, but that just feels good. And it's an outpost, so it's going to soak up some damage. I think we're going to do that. I think bases are like a good way to splash because you have the opportunity to potentially get them out of your deck. And they just kind of stay out on the field. I would love Blob World. Really want it. I really want it bad. Not sure if it's going to happen, though. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. I'm at 24. Uh, going to be a little bit less than 24 now. But that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's scrap that guy. Fleet HQ. I think that's going to be enough to win. So let's do it. Look at that, one hit point away from getting two achievements. You know what, but I'm not a perfectionist. I think I'll let that slide. Um, next one, man, still, oh no. Okay, so I should have looked at the rules of the last one. Were there different rules for two? No, okay. So this one's gonna be the first time. Next, next video uh, looks like it might be the first time the rules change, uh, basically defeat the blob feet or survive until turn 20. The buff fleet plays only one card per turn, but these will be blob cards of increasing power. Okay. You start with a trade bot. Interesting. Yeah, so the rules are going to start to change. Um but yeah, we'll get we'll get through this. Um you know, my goal is I think I I want to at least get one achievement, you know, per you know, per thing, you know, and then, uh, yeah. So let me know if you want to me, let me know if you want me to continue the, uh, campaign mode of star realms. I think it might be a kind of a fun little, uh, diversion, you know, why we wait for hero realms to continue to be updated. Um, still going to be playing hero realms, but just something different to play. And then, um, they did say they are going to be releasing the app potentially sometime in the summer for Hero Realms. So that's going to be kind of cool. Uh, I hope that the community is as large uh, as the Star Realms one. Uh, lots of people play uh, Star Realms. You can do an online game and play a real-time game practically anytime. Uh, and you're going to get synced up with the game. Uh, but anyway, this was Star Realms. Uh, thank you all for watching, and please like and subscribe, and let me know if you want me to continue through the campaign for Star Realms um, while we wait for the campaign for, for Hero Realms. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time.